So what's up people, Victor Brani here from Napster Films and today guys I'm going to be doing this effect. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment on these videos. And remember it's in this channel that I'll be dropping weekly tutorials on how to do stuff inside DaVinci Resolve. So what's up what's up guys Victor Brani here from Napster Phillips and today guys I'm back again with another tutorial so today guys we're going to do this mirror effect or what they call the kaleidoscope so I'm really having a hard time pronouncing this name so I don't know if it's like kaleidoscope or kaleidoscope so whichever way guys but I'm going to show you how to do this cool effect which actually you see it in most of the music videos so right away guys i'm going to go straight into my media pool so i have my clip in here so right away I just bring it into my preview tab and i'm going to bring down the video only so i've already selected my in points and my out points so right away guys i'm going to click under the effects tab i'm going to close the media pool for a second and i'm going to go under open effects and right away i'm going to search and um, resolve fx stylize so i'm going to search mirrors and i'm going to drag this onto my video like this and right away guys i'm going to select this clip i'm going to close the effects library and right away i'm going to open the inspector so right away this is the clip that we have so I'm going to do something because I, th this clip is really shaky so I'm going to stabilize it for a second I'm going to select it and under stabilization I'm going to click stabilize so I'm going to wait for it to stabilize for a second or two and then we get back to this so right guys the clip has just stabilized so right away I'm going to go under the inspector and just beside the video here you can see there is a, a new tab that is called open effects so i'm going to click here and if i want to achieve the mirror loop right away you can see it's formed like a some sort of a mirror because now if this is not activated you see it's active by default it just goes under uh, the individual mirrors so if you want to do one mirror or one individual mirror you can just even choose the positioning like so or you can also move the x and y positions you can also move let me just resist you can move the x and y position like so and you can also change the angle like so so you can flip this around like so so you can have this and if you play the clip this is what you have so it's like a mirror so i'm going to reset this i'm going to reset this because this is this is the mirror this is the individual mirror and the mirror replacement is just under the individual but what i want you can also do the reset like so so this is what you will have it's really really cool it's a really really cool effect if you if you if you want this kind of effect inside your videos and you can also change the angle so you can have the stars you can also reset this and you can also change the y positioning and if you if you keep on pushing this you can see what is happening it's really really a cool video effect and also you can also do the kaleidoscope i'm having a really really big problem pronouncing this but this you can go under this mirror placement and change the it to kaleidoscope and this is what you have you can change the x position you can change the y position like so you can also change the angles you can change the angles 
something like that. But what I want to do here is just take the video from the beginning. Let me just reset everything. I'm going to take the video from the beginning. And under center, I'm going to just really push it to like, let me just say to 17, just below like so. 0 0.17, that is, that is, and I'm going to keyframe it. So I'm going to place a keyframe here by clicking this diamond button here. And right away I'm going to go to the, almost the end of the video. And I'm going to change this center size. To something like that. Let me just say to the maximum. So what we have is this really cool effect you can see this is the kaleidoscope so it's, it's really a, a very beautiful kind of easy effect that you can achieve inside resolve if you if you are one of the adobe guys you really love this because you can only achieve this effect inside after effects but you can also do this inside resolve which actually this is the easiest way to do it and that's it for today guys and remember to subscribe remember to like these videos remember to hit that bell notification and next week i'm going to show you how to get the vhs look from i think the 1990s or the 1980s kind of film look so don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment on these videos. And remember, it's in this channel that we'll be dropping weekly tutorials on how to do stuff inside DaVinci Resolve. And guys, this is it for this week and see you next time guys.